Put my chicken inside some Louis and some Valentino. Put my bro inside some Gucci and some Gucino. They want my money like it's a casino. The best way to go from zero to 10,000 pounds. A lot of people, first of all, let's start off with the figure 10,000 yeah. pounds. I feel like a lot of people want that figure because it's five figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like people are excited, but I feel like for me as well, when I got to that figure, I just realized that nothing's changed. Like, it's that's just, it. Just like, another day in the office, I guess. It's just, it's, it's, it's normal and it's, it's a thing where I used to place my happiness at like an end goal, yeah. but I realized when you get there, it's just like, so like, I that's why I realized I need to start, you know, having happiness throughout the journey towards yeah where you're gonna get to. You can't just place it, oh, when I get a million, I'll be happy. No, nah, most of I think even the main thing is you just gotta en en enjoy the journey and mm. the process, you know, car. At the end of it, to get to where we've both gotten to, you have to better yourself every day type thing, innit? And mm. it's those one percent, it's those small steps you do, those small steps you take to better yourself is what you gotta enjoy. For mm. example, now you can't, let's say if, if you work on the road and you hate like waking up at 5 a.m. and going to the tracks, like you can make 10K, but you're, you're not loving that journey. Mm. Do you get it? But let's say you're learning something new every day, like it's entrepreneurship and business. You learn something new every day, like you're meeting new people, you're making new skill sets and all like that. So those small incremental steps is where your happiness should lie in it. And when you hit that milestone, like, right, that's like another bonus type thing, isn't it's it? So bonus. that 10K number per se shouldn't be, you know, like, right, yeah, when I hit 10K, I should be happy. But the steps getting towards that 10K, that's what should make you happy type thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. When, when do you think, when do you think people, let's say, let's say, okay, cool, when do you think a hustler should hit their first 10K? What age? Uh, do you know what it is? There's, there's no time, because everyone's, everyone's time is different, isn't it? You know, mm -hmm. like, some some people hit 10k when they're like 16, 17. Mm. You know, some people hit it when they're 21, 22, 23. You know, so mm. I think the perfect the perfect age is there's not a perfect age you understand yet. But I think where you feel within yourself that you're proficient enough in your grind, your hustle, to actually hit that 10k and maintain that standard that you're doing that work rate to get to the 10k because everyone knows you hit that 10k you can make that 20k when that 20k make that 40k when that 40k make that 80k and so on so forth mm. so it's just literally the best time for you to make that 10k is when you've mastered it within yourself mm. and you know like right you're cool i've got a method this the strategy xyz then you're going from there yeah no that's smooth um so i feel like with those watching they may think like 10K is like, oh, you need to make 10K in one go. But uh -huh. no, I personally feel like, in my opinion, you know, to make 10K, you just need to make 1K 10 times. That's what it is. See, when you, when you break it down, it's so much easier, man. Yeah, like, it's not as hard as you think. Yeah, like, you got to see, like, how did you get that 1K? Like, what did you do like, to actually amass that 1,000 mm. pounds? And whatever you did, just repeat it. It's like repeat and rinse, bro. There's, there's no... You don't need to make... 10k in one transaction. No, 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 no. You build it up. I'll be so wrong. 10k in transaction, I've done it before in it, but it's, it's very rare. Yeah, and it's, it's depending on what you do, trade trading or whatever, it can be risky depending on your account size. Or... Exactly that, exactly that. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, it's all about building up incrementally in it. So, you're building up, let's say you start making that 500. Mm -hmm. And you make it twice now, whatever, so you've got 1,000 now. So, you just see what you've done to make that 500. You just literally just try go more extensive on what you did. So what you did, let's say if you were on level one the first time, the next time, do level two. Mm -hmm. The next time, do level three type thing. So in terms of, let's say we put a 500 pound into market and then that made you 2,000 pound profit. You know now, in terms to get that double the profit or whatever, you're gonna try to put double the money down in terms of marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all that type. So instead of marketing, put it into your work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, so whatever you've done, the work ethic wise, that you made your, your, your 500 pound, you're cool, nice. Now double it. And obviously, it's, it's just arithmetic at the end of the day. When you double it, you double the results at the end of the day. Innit? So, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's one way of, of looking at it, so. No, for sure, for sure. Um, so, getting from now zero to a thousand, yeah. some would say the easiest way is getting a job. I do think, you know, getting a job is pretty, pretty much one of the easiest ways. Yes, well, you're exchanging your life energy for, for money, but mm. it has to be done sometimes. And... Well, at the end of the day, you've got to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. like, you got to start from somewhere. I'm pretty sure you had a job before you went mm -hmm. to entrepreneurship. I got a job. I was working in, in the st uh, stadiums. I was working in football stadiums when I was 16, 17. Just because what, what, what else, realistically, in terms of entrepreneurship, how much, like, what can you rise as a 16-year-old to even do anything? 
you know, unless you want to get to trade or drop shipping, you go, there's money, you need to start up with something, you know, at the end of the day. Mm. So rather than you, I don't know, just waiting or depending on someone, just get a job in it, like, you know, no shame in it, bro, you're 16, 17. Like, even, no matter what age you're, just get a job in it, like, just get that capital to put into where you want to put in and go from there, you know? Yeah, literally. But if you, you know, if you don't get a job or you can't get a job, even if you're 16, I think buying and reselling is the easiest way to go from... Buying and reselling? Yeah, buying low, selling high. Um, mm. no, of, of course, but even so of that, you can only scale it so much without having a substantial budget. Because if you haven't got a job, we've got your budget coming at what, fifty pound, a hundred pound. Yeah, fifty to. Yeah, yeah 50 obviously to 60 you, you can you can scale it, innit? And well, obviously it just just take a long time, it's innit? But time, yeah. let's say the the buying power you got with a thousand pound, the buying power of a hundred pound is way different. Way different. So yeah. in terms of the the even. Oh, not, I'm doing zero to a thousand. Oh, zero to a thousand. Okay, no, nah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah the. Yeah, there's, and then from maybe from a thousand to ten k, you may want to change the way you do things, or yeah. you change hustle completely. Mm. Um, because some hustles that you, you get from zero to a thousand, yeah, there's a limit to how. Yeah, much do you know, you know what's mad is is you got to remember is your first hustle is not going to be your main hustle in terms because my first hustle was was dropshipping and that's not that's not my proficiency now. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? So I say yeah, even if you're starting out entrepreneurship or whatever. Just try it out. See, just put your your feet in so many different areas and just see what's really good. Cause then there, one might work for you, one might not in it. So what works for me might not work for you. What works for Poke might not work for me in it. So you just mm -hmm. gotta see what's really good. Try it out. You know, whatever works best for you, you, you take it and you run with it. Like, like FX, I fully focused on it about about two three years ago. Mm -hmm. Like fully focused. Like even with, with, with the fun round, right, Lux Capital. I was this it was like about a year ago where I see a cool like tunnel vision. This shit last year much. Mm -hmm. So like yeah, focusing on yeah, boom, 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 focus. That's it, isn't it? When you got focus, all your drive is to that place. And of course, I'm from APM Group. I scaled it so high because that's my only focus. So now, if I want to scale Lux Capital to the same type of um, presence where APM Group was, in it, yeah, it just it was all dedicated focus, in it. So yeah, fo focus, 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 focus. though. yeah, definitely. Um just getting to that first of thousand figure, and once you know it's doable, it's just easier to just replicate, rinse and repeat. Um, it's not, yeah, it's simple as that. Do you know, I, I, the first time I knew I was fully like, like this f thing was for me, entrepreneurship was for me, it was when I, uh, when I made my first 100 pound mm -hmm. online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you can make 100 pound online, you can make 1,000 pound online, it's just the same principles, you know? Yeah, don't think of it as, oh, it's an unattainable figure. Nah. You need to think of it as like, I can do that, or that's, within means you of know? course because when you make it like uh something that's above you that's mm. when the limitations come and your own self-beliefs it just it messes up the whole process and your discipline so there you go there you for go. sure you need to just understand i can do it it's just a numbers game don't see it as anything mu much simple no. as that yeah. most definitely still most um, definitely most definitely. reselling um but yeah I, I, I do think yeah reselling if you really want to get to zero to a thousand job reselling um, or pretty much any hustle, you know, trading. What, 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 what about avenue do you think? Because obviously, to start, obviously, different avenues or different um, mm. like hustles, you need money to start off with. Oh, yeah. So, what would you say that's completely like from, from scratch? Zero, from, from zero. From without a penny in man's account, like I'm start something. Okay, for me personally, yeah. what I did when I had no money. Um, yeah. Well, okay, I used my lunch money, so I used to get five pounds a week. All right, okay. So, Actually, no, actually, no, I, I lied, actually. My dad used to buy these cartons, like oh, juice cartons. I just oh. took it. Normally, I take it for lunch, but yeah. one, take, one day, instead of taking one, I just took two. <laughs> and I sold one for 50p. Yeah. Every month, when I, I took more, I used to take more. So, in a way, I kind of, kind of used my dad. But mm. also, I used to get £5 lunch money. So, yeah, yeah. in that case, what I also used to do is use my lunch money to then go buy sweets, to then oh. flip. So, in a way, I'm not starting from zero. I'm, not, I'm being mm. given, but... If it's done literally from, from zero, zero like, like, there's no help, no debt, nothing, I would say you kind of have to just literally give away yourself to work for someone. So say, look, I'll do whatever you want. Here's my time. Mm, I'll do it for your you. Your time and skill set. Yeah. yeah, literally give them your, your labour. If, you, if the job is even kind of paid, like anything minute, uh, you right. got to do what you got to do to so, so get let's, something. Let's say now, yeah, how long do you think it'll take to make your first 10K from scratch, from zero? Let's say if I took all your money, if I took everything from you, all your assets, whatever. How long? Um, well, all my clout, everything. Every, actually, actually not. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything like, stripped to the bone. Like, I'm literally just, just, random. just, just, just to Mr. Poke unit. Like. How long do you think it'll take me? Yeah. Oh, wait, but I have my knowledge though. Yeah, your knowledge, like everything with you in it, except from, except from all the everything that can fade away, fades away in it. You yeah, just yeah. got you and your brain in it, like. 
How long? Um, to get 10k, probably. I want to say. I shall be conserved six months. I'll be conserved. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be. It depends how the market. The market. How I'll do it. Um, cool. Zero to. Okay, so I'll get a job. I'll get. Yeah, I'll just get a job. That's that's straight up. I'm, I'm over eighteen. So yeah. cool. Um, get a job, whatever. Um, so I can get my first hundred pounds easily. Mm. While doing that, I'll be buying and reselling. Mm. Actually, no, no, that's a lie. I'll actually I'll do the funded route. So um, I'll get funded. I'll just keep buying funded accounts. 10k funded accounts. Right, okay. And keep trying to pass that and then use that to scale to 10k. So me, I'll say six months. Me personally, I'll go for a different route because my my actual bag is a marketing. Mm-hmm. Marketing clients and closing clients, that's it. Yeah. Like if, if I've got any strong point in life or whatever it is, is that mm. just selling and converting. So get a job at sell salesman? Not even salesman. I'll I'll say let's say for example now, I'll just go do sales and marketing for Let's say, um, like a brand. Okay. Like, so, so like, 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 like a finance brand, or, or like mm, a, like a cook group, mm, or oh. someone that needs subscribers, or whatever. So, let's say now, if the commission is, is let's say what 30, 40 percent, or whatever, mm-hmm. and each, on average, the, 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 the sales of commission is 100 pound, right? Mm-hmm. Each client you bring in, you're getting 40 pound, 50 pound. Mm. And Damn. bear in mind, all you're doing is lip service. <laughs> lip service? All you're doing is just talking. Oh, is that what you call it? Like, lip service, but <laughs> just chatting. Like, that's what oh, you're yeah. doing, so on. If you're chatting now... That's and, a quick question. Um, yeah. Those watching, um, they may wonder, OK, how do I get the audience to speak to? So how well, do you do not to be, to, for me personally, innit, I could talk to anyone and everyone. Innit? Oh, so you do you do it face to face? Face to face for sure. Like, mm-hmm. let's say now if I go if I go to the barbers or whatever, and there's people sitting just talking about, just do whatever, talk about football. I'll try interjecting like, right, yeah, what was it that you guys do? Da, da, da. Like, you guys got any investments? Have you guys got any? Let's say if the person's the cook group for I don't know recent coming up, like, right, do you guys know about recent? Like, and then I'll I'll literally list all the pros of recent and all the benefits and past results and try to close them. Like at the end there. Me being at barber shop sitting silently for an hour waiting, or me talking to six different people within that hour, I ain't lost nothing. You, you've at least tried at least six times. Exactly. If one converts, that's there you go. Mm-hmm. If one converts, that's fifty pounds for my hour waiting at a barber shop. Mm-hmm. And you're just gonna get trim anyway, regardless. There you go. So, I think when you see things kind of open minded like that, you know, there, there's loads of opportunities for you in it. You know. Yes. But yeah, that would be my strategy, you know, just literally... Oh, you do it all the way to 10K or...? Oh, most def. Other than you scale and, to bigger it, products. Is ex- mm-hmm. Exactly that, scale mm-hmm. to bigger products. And bear in mind, yeah, if you have a, if you have a first... If you, what I re, what I realised is, yeah, majority of my clients from APM Group are all of my clients from Lux Capital right now. But it's, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's, like, it's like you're taking them on like a journey, like you built that, you know, exactly. you built that trust and there they you just go. follow but you throughout. It's all about rapport, that's what sales is, bro. Mm. Jamie, so is, is even as it right now, yeah. In my contact, but I could probably sell to ninety nine percent of my people. That's not, let's let's be conservative. Let's just say seven percent. I can sell at least a fifty pound product to them. Mm. And I got about a thousand, thousand two hundred people. My, my my phone book. Yeah. yeah. So then I could sell a fifty pound product to them. Yeah. Actually, now thinking about it, I could also do one one early hustle I did was a yeah. match betting. Match for oh, lit, lit, lit. Yeah, I can probably match that for people that oh, I can do this for you. Um, exactly. Take, so take percentage. So the same way as that now, yeah, I'll just render that service forward. I'll put it forward to that, right, yeah, cool. I, I know it. someone that does match betting. Da, da, da. Like, let's say if, if I know you mm-hmm. and I said, cool, let me be an affiliate for your company, whatever. Mm. I know you got results. Let's say, yeah, well, how much would you make average, average monthly returns on, on, on the, on the match, match betting? Yeah. 500. Five bills now. Let's say if you take 10%, 20% commission, you're taking 50 pound, 100 pound. Mm-hmm. And, and you get new customers. Get new customers. And even so, for the customers, they're risk free, anyways. So every customer you bring, you get 100. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And, you, and that's one of your, that's one thing you offer. You can offer, oh, if you want. A long term thing. There like, you, you go. I know someone else that does. There you, you go. If someone's into return off of that side. Uh, have a look at this, yeah. This, mm. this is the most pinnacle thing, guys. Hope you're listening, yeah. If I make you money on one avenue and I say, guys, I've got 10 avenues as well, are you going to come, yes or no? They will be like, okay, let's try this one out as well. So let's, make say, money this so let's say you're averaging about, let's, let's even say 30 pounds mm-hmm. per avenue, right? Average. Mm-hmm. So you've got one client and you've closed up for 300 pounds. On all ten avenues, mm. I and mean, they'll bring their friends as well. 
Mm. Do you get me? So when you start thinking like that, the world, well, the world is yours, man. Mm. That's, that's interesting. So you go through the marketing route, for the marketing. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's many hustles you can do. Just find a way to get to a thousand and just go repeat. Even even with that being said, Jay, if I was to start all over again right now, I feel like I'll go through the, the affiliate route. Oh, for the month, yeah. Everything. All the way. Mm. Everything. Yeah. You know, because that's, that's where my bag is at, anyways. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, definitely. Would you ever think of touching, so some people may be thinking, watching the crypto route, would you ever think, eh, or was that, was that more of a 10K to 100K route? Or what uh, do you, do you know, think? Cri- crypto is, to be honest, isn't it, yeah, it, First thing, you know, I think it's a hit or miss, isn't it? If you're trying to, if you're, if you're trying to go from zero to 10,000, that is a hit or miss, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Cause I remember, crypto's a percentage game, right? Mm-hmm. And if you are starting from 100 pounds trying to get to 10,000 pounds, you're going to need some serious X. Over? You're going to need crazy X. 9,000 X? Okay, imagine. So you're going to try to scale for 9,000 X or whatever the, the percentage is. They're gonna try to scale for that, and the, the likelihood or the probability of you winning that nine hundred x or you losing it, the loss is pretty much yeah. very high. Yeah, Do you get me. So that wouldn't be the, the right route, you know. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, so that's more of a when you have big money, you're just trying to make. There you go. Like, like if if you can if you can put your money in something, you know, like raw, right. and that's it's all about discipline as well, no. If you've got discipline, let's say, like, right, I'll put my P's in X amount, X coin in it, I'm gonna get 10%, 20%. You take it out, innit? Because mm-hmm. that's the, the people's downfall right now, this sort of emotional aspect in terms of mm-hmm. you wanna put money down and wanna make some big money in it. And obviously, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna correct. Yeah. So, you know. No, that's, that's interesting. But, okay, then. And the, you, you said you go through the marketing route. I said yeah. six months. How long do you think you could do it? Three months, realistically. If you in, in, term, in terms of, if you're. Like out there every day, like every day doing it. Every day, you know. Let's say, let's you can even you could do this route through the job, but the nine to five job you got, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Cause at the end of the day, when you're at work, you're not working with walls or robots. You're working with human beings as well, mm-hmm. and everyone's working to make money. Oh, so you can work your job and also sell them on these things on the side as well. There you go. So you just get money. You you work it, yeah, yeah. And over time, your side your side hustle, your side income will overtake your main your main job and your main income. Yeah, in that sense, you could even probably make like. In three months, you can make like five k from your main job and then five k from marketing, and you get ten k. There you yeah. go. Literally, there you so go. yeah, that's another way. Multiple sources of income. You know. Obviously, that way you have to, you know, sacrifice your your social time and what. Yeah, but, nevertheless, but yeah, that's all about the little gratification. If mm-hmm. if I can go goals for what three months yeah, to make my first ten k startup, that's mm-hmm. inevitable. Who wouldn't do that? You know, who wouldn't do that at all? Um, now let's go on to how we, on the way we actually did it. For me, um, well, not how we actually did it, but like the steps. Would you say you went from like for me, for example, I went from zero to a thousand, spent money, so I'm gone back to like the hundreds, mm-hmm. then maybe gone to two k, spent money, go back. It was never went. It was never straight to ten, obviously. Like I would always get to like well, it's eight, and then I might go back down to six. Mm-hmm. And do you know what I mean? Was it? How was it for you? For me, in my one, I'm not even gonna lie. And my first money I got was through dropshipping, oh, yeah, yeah. and I just had a great run, like, the, 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 the bro, run like bro, like zero to hero type stuff. Swear. Like zero to hero, like that's the type of, and, and obviously it wasn't straight away. In it was, I, I lost a few, but I never, I never hit one k before I even made ten k. I never, oh. I never, I never even made like two hundred pound, three hundred pound before I made the first ten k. Swear. All, all I did, bro, I run one ad on, what's it called, on, on, on Instagram. Swear. One ad on Instagram. How much, like, do you, how much you, you're on? I feel like 50 pounds, bro. <laughs> bro, but, 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 oh, 2018, 2017? Bro, back then, 2017, 2018, bro. Mm. So man, run one killer ad now. And it worked, in it? And uh, bear in mind, when, when, when you're selling the product, right, it's not, if someone is buying it, it's not the stem that's going to buy it. Let's say, for example, like, we've got both similar interests, right? If I buy it, and if I see something, I say, bro, we say, bro, you like it. Like, you say, yeah, you, you're most likely going to buy it as well. Mm. Like, you know, so that's how it yeah, works. That also helped as well. Yeah, Do you remember yeah. what you were selling? Bro, I was selling custom jewellery store. Mm-hmm. Custom jewellery. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, as you know, tell it like, innit? The, the, the promo wasn't even at once, because what I did was I timed it correctly, innit? I done a marketing for Nara Mali. Yeah. And I done and I done the the, the the Instagram ad as well. Okay, and so after, just... it, it was a combination of those two type thing, innit? So mm. those those two came in clutch, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was a real beauty of your store. 
Okay, and wait, so you so you haven't made 200 at all or 300 online, mm-hmm. and when it started to work, you just went to, to, to Hero? That's it. Oh. Went to Hero, then obviously with that then, then I try to play around with some ads in it. Then I lost money. So so in terms of when I hit the 10K, I try to say like, rah. This was, yeah, I thought there was a guy. So I was trying to do like, rah, let me try to exit kind of nuts and mountains. So I try to do various marketing things that days didn't work, innit? Nah, I, I, I think it was just a thing where, to be honest, I just got lucky, in it. Mm-hmm. That being said, but even luck is not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Luck is essentially your hard work and skill set meeting opportunity. Mm-hmm. So that's happened to me. I think I just got the right opportunity at the right time, innit? And it just blew. Mm-hmm. At least you saved most of the there, there, yeah. there you go, there you go, there you go. So it wasn't too bad, didn't it? Yeah, but, but yeah, so let's say right now, yeah, in this day and age, yeah, if you were to, like, how would you tell someone to make that first thousand pound online or whatever? Yeah. And with your real life situation regarding your real life enterprise or whatever it is that you do. How would I do it? Yeah, no, how would you tell someone to do it? Oh, but I say, I say, um, I, I, t- I normally tell people buy and resell them. Um, okay, buy and resell all the time. Because it's, it's the easiest one, number one. Because yeah. sim- it's literally business at, at its core. Buy low, so high. That's what business is at mm-hmm. the end of the day. Secondly, um, with retail products, yeah. all, most of them, if you buy from any retail store, normally they have a 28 day return policy. So it's kind of risk free in the sense. Right, so right, if you buy right. anything and um, for some reason it doesn't sell within 20 days, you can still refund and still get your money back. So therefore, that's why I say it's the most risk free in that sense. But more time, if you can understand the demand, then you'll mm-hmm. know. So that's why I say, that's why I tell everyone, go through that route. So what I'll do in my situation with my enterprise or whatever, right? So here at Lux Capital, as you know, we, are, mm-hmm. uh, we have an AI that trades for clients on behalf, right? Yeah. And how it works is, we actually take on affiliates to come in to join. Mm-hmm. But obviously, you need to have money instead of whatever in it. Because at the end of the day, my thing is, I, w- I don't want you to push a product you're not in yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point of doing that? So now, when, when we get our clients onboarded, right, we get an opportunity for them to have an additional earning potential, right? So mm-hmm. every client they bring, or every potential person they bring, they get paid £25 per yeah. person. Yeah. And how that works is, they have, they have paid £25, the client's deposit, and the client makes money as well. Yeah. So it's a way where everyone's winning, right? Cool. So we've got a thing for our special, it's, it's called um, ICPs. Mm. So introducing client partners, right? So those are guys, they've got higher stakes they put like the 5 Ks plus so they've got £5,000 plus inside their own account and they've got results coming in mm-hmm. and every client that they bring in they get paid £50 per client so one of my ICPs has already made about £700 in the space of I think four, four, four weeks mm. so £700 in four weeks just by referring these people in mm-hmm. and with this this works best for people that have got a target audience already you know let's say now you 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 work in finance, yeah, and you're in Lux as well to get some income. If you're telling people about the about the um, the enterprise shit as well in terms of Lux, they're gonna more likely to be involved in it because I understand finance. Yeah. So with that in itself, yeah, he's got his own like 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 target audience around him. So essentially, it's not like he's even making a sell. Just telling like, right, yeah, bro. I'm in X, Y, Z right now. We're trying to join it or whatever. Mm-hmm. So when the, his people come in, his people come in, get the results as well, and he's getting paid as well. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's essentially a place where everyone's been in full circle. Yeah. You know, so that's how I'll get in. That's how I'll do it at this day and age in terms of last couple as well. You said you had a story about reselling. Okay, cool. <laughs> so basically, this was, I think, I think this was, this was last year somewhere, I think 20, 2020, right? Or 2021, isn't it? one of those years, isn't it? Yeah. This was when sneaker reselling was, was kind of getting out of hands, in it? So I was like, all right, let me, let me try my hands on this story. Mm-hmm. So what I did was, yeah, I had some money in it. This was when I was in Nottingham, innit? So I went back to Nottingham, I went to Nottingham, the Foot Locker. Mm. And I think, the, I don't know what Jordans were, innit? But there was like... Jordan ones, I think. I, I, can't, I, I think so, I don't know. But I'm, gee, reselling, pff, I don't know nothing about, innit? Mm. I just know there's money, so I was like, cool, let me try it. Excuse me, so... There was some red, some red Jordans there, there was some blue ones, innit? Yeah, like, the, apparently they were, they were mad hot, I think called Royal Blues or... I don't, I don't know, innit? Satin Royale, innit? Yeah, yeah. So the red ones and the blue ones, right? So I've gone to the shop with A, innit, yeah? Man's literally cleared out the whole shop. Mm. Man's bought, bought people literally outside, bro. We bought every single size in that shoe and we just left. I, I'm gonna try to find the video yeah, for we'll, it. We'll put it on yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not about sending it in it, yeah. So literally, I think there was like 10 left or something in it or 20, one of them in it. You bought everything now, yeah, corn. Cool. Boom. Now man's got another little Snapchat promo. It's like, right, yeah, man's got Jordans here, da da da. Yeah, come, come collect your size, mm-hmm. innit, cool. Mm-hmm. So man's done that, snapped it now, yeah. And like, like, got a few cells, one, two cells in a cool, like, like, yeah, I thought the guy was just rubbing man's palms in the thing, yeah, man's back store. So, now, like, it kind of went quiet still, like. 
Quiet. So while I was doing that, yeah, the, the, the sales kind of went on E, like, yeah. okay, kind of, kind of went low. So yeah. I was thinking, right, like, what's happening? Isn't it? And I think I've had them for about like a week now, but also like two years, three, innit? So man's just snapping it again, like just a little promoting now, like, right. But I think the price I was trying to just kind of mad, then I was trying to like, 80 pound on top, what I don't know. Oh, then, but it was above yeah. market price. Like, yeah, 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 way above, innit? So, man, just snapped like, right, yeah, brrr, like, just for this amount to come and grab it type of thing, innit? And I was overpriced, innit? I didn't know. But obviously, now nah, I kept on doing that, dude, no sales like two, three weeks now, yeah, bro. And the fourth week was approaching, so you hear me? Oh, we said the, 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 the 28 days, yeah, bro. In my head, yeah, I was thinking, like, right, like, like, let, let, let me take it back to the shop, and <laughs> just, bro, I'll, I'll, I would have been so embarrassed. I think, nah, nah. It's embarrassing because you're burning. Bro, 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 you might have just like, come out of the shop for your hella bags now. Yeah. They just, <laughs> you, 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 they you go back, you hella bags. Like, oh, man, man, man. And, and the dead people, like, bro, hey, it was just kind of nuts. Like, this is so, embarrassing. Like. So, so I was like, nah, 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 Jill, Jill. I've got to sell these immediately. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, force, like. immediately. I've got to say, I can't bear the embarrassment of you, around. You thought you were the guy. <laughs> Sold out the whole store now. And you just left with all the crepes, like, yeah, you're selling it, like, we doing it. Like, 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 people wanted them outside. <laughs> yeah, so, my thing was, yeah, look, I just had to, I just had to, that made me your work hard, like, right, bro, you gotta shift it, like, you gotta move in it. And yeah, like, I feel I just ended up selling it for just, just above retail, and just like five pounds, ten pounds extra. And oh, I just so you got all your pieces. And left it and just a bit of pro in it. And yeah, man, so that's my fun, that's my story about reselling. I just never really yeah, no, got back into it, innit, so. Yeah, no, um, with reselling, I understand some people don't understand. What is that product to sell? And that's why um, I, I work with them. I think that was my main problem, because mm. even some girl told me, bro, you're not actually selling this in the stores, you know? Like, like oh. retail, like... Oh, like, it's easy to get. Like, like it's accessible. I, I probably oh. need it, but I, I, I felt like, because I saw that, I cleaned the stocking. <laughs> I felt like I cleaned the stocking, not in the middle. I felt like, yeah, I was super back. But apparently, I was selling it in, 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 the, in the Victoria Center. <laughs> <laughs> He was like a fool. Wait, so the <laughs> only stuck here just trying to sell it. So I was, I was like, I was like, nah, bro, this is kind of nuts, though. So I just, I just, talk, talk. I wasn't an L in it. I was like, right, can I lesson in it? Let me just, I'm just, hey, like, man, I'm chatting, busting it. Let me just take my little bread. And just yeah, call it a day yeah. store. Yeah, yeah, since that, I haven't really gotten to reselling store. Yeah, no, nah, um, yeah, I feel like people don't know exactly what to sell. And I understand that. You remember mm. thinking, Poco, you keep saying buying reselling, but buying mm. reselling what? Mm. It's okay. What I, I work with Surge Notify and with them, they literally, it's a cook group which teaches you exactly what to resell. And from that, they'll tell you, okay, buy this and you can expect to sell this. It tells you all the spec profits. There is a free month trial, so check that out with the code BANKS. Be on the screen and be linked down below. Shout, yeah, man. Shout out Surge, innit? Shout Surge out Jay, North, innit? My Surge bro. North, eight. Definitely check that one out. Well, I find money for shout. That's where you can learn exactly what to resell and everything. But yeah. yeah.